when we are restless very often restlessness is also expressed in ambition in greed there are some people who are pursuing one thing after another why because the moment when you arrive the moment when you attain it life becomes flat again that is why those people who are supposedly to be very happy because they have reached the heights of worldly success are they happy with their life they are not happy they also have many problems different problems nobody is exempted and that is why when greed and ambition enter into our life it's again a cover up for insecurity god gives us many signs in life to lead us to him but we are ignorant of the signs we see the things we see the signs but we don't understand the signs what will lead us to the fullness of life only god can provide us that meaning and that purpose but again we tend to confront the emptiness in our hearts we fall into activism they think that the way to find life is to get involved in many activities i join this ministry that ministry i'm holding this position that position i went to evangelize all these things are good not to say they are no good but it can again be an escape from the vacuum in our life boredom we are bored we feel useless we need to be approved we need to be recognized we are trying to seek people's attention we hope that if food cannot satisfy us maybe people's recognition can help us but it's not what can really fulfill us and the real hunger in us is the hunger of god that is our deepest hunger when we lack a deep relationship with god that is why we begin to look for all these external things hoping that these external things will fulfill us only when we come to jesus only when you're in union with jesus then our hunger will be satisfied that's why st augustine reminds us our hearts are restless until we rest in him there is a deep hunger to be in touch with god a deep hunger to feel the love of god we are trying to draw strength from our service to others hoping that they will make us feel loved but the real strength must come from god first the love of god is poured into our hearts and then express in love and service at that kind of service is god working in you that is why you don't work for god when you work for god is ambition but god must work in and through you then it will run spontaneously it is no more being drawn out by people it is being poured out if we are being poured out it is the spirit who leads you and that kind of service empowers people life and reaches your own life the kind of service springs from within regardless of people's appreciation public opinion it is god who works in and through us as he did through jesus